Let's talk about getting a loan on a manufactured home. Can you do it? What are some of the things you need to look out for? This could be good for sellers or buyers or realtors, just information you need to know about financing for manufactured homes. First of all, you can do a loan. You can do an FHA loan, a VA loan, a conventional loan. And in most cases, in a lot of states, you can do a USDA loan, but not everywhere. They're also really picky about the home and so be careful, make sure you reach out to your lender if you're considering using VA finance or USDA financing uh, to buy a manufactured home. It may be better to go some other route uh, to do that. First things first, the title has to be eliminated. The, the home actually has to be a home, a real property home. Um, so title must be eliminated on that manufactured home. If you can't, you're buying a car and you're gonna need an auto loan a personal loan or something like that. Okay, so title has to be eliminated. The other thing for most financing, for most lenders, you're gonna to have to have the home on, the, you're gonna to have to own the land as well. There are some mobile home trailer parks or, or those kind of things where the land is actually leased and that you're gonna to have to go to a certain lender uh, to do that kind of financing. So the land must be owned, title must be eliminated, for it to be able to go FHA, VA, conventional, uh, or USDA. The home's also going to have to have uh, HUD tags, um, and those will be on, if it's a double wide trailer, the tags will be on both sides, uh, and the inspector should be able to find those, the appraiser should be able to find those, um, but it'll have to have HUD tags as well. Okay, so what we're going to go down is we're going to go down payment, how old the home can be, is it, can it be a single or a double wide? How many times can it be moved? Can you move the home from place to place? Uh, and the usage, okay? For, for FHA, the down payment is the same. It's three and a half percent. The home cannot be built uh, before June 15th, 1976. Uh, it has to be a double wide. It can only be moved once, meaning it can be moved. It, they're built in a factory and then moved to the property and that's the only time the, the home can be moved. And then for FHA, with all FHA financing, when you're purchasing a home or using FHA to purchase, it has to be your primary. You can't buy it as a second home or an investment property. Okay, for VA, still zero down, uh, zero down. Same thing on the date, 19, June 15th, 1976. Anything before that won't be able to be financed. That's a question I get a lot. Uh, from realtors or buyers is what is the date? June 15th, 1976 is for FHA, VA, and conventional. Okay, VA, you can do single and double wides. Again, you're gonna have to, if it's a single wide, you, you may have to search around for a lender. You may also pay a little bit higher rate for that because there's a little bit more risk there. Um, VA loans can also be moved twice. That means it can be moved from the factory to the site and then to another site. Now, if that's the case, there's most likely gonna be some other inspections that have to happen and that could uh, create some issues getting your loan closed, okay? Uh, conventional, uh, the, down, the minimum down payment for most conventional loans uh, for primary residents is 3%, but on a manufactured home, you're gonna have to move that up to 5%, okay? Um, again, June 15th, 1976, I know I've said that a lot. Again, that's a, probably the most common question I get. Conventional has to be a double wide and it can only be moved once, okay? Um, on a conventional, you can do uh, primary and second. I messed this up, so I'm gonna change this right now while we're in, a, no editing here. Uh, primary or secondary home, you can't buy an investment property uh, a manufactured home as an investment property okay so primary or secondary only okay again if you have questions on buying a second home go see my other video uh, on buying a lake home or whatever okay uh, and then uh, for USDA it's still zero percent down uh, one of the things I think like we th we should know about uh, when you buy a home you want to know hey can I maybe refinance down the road if I don't like the rate or those kind of things. On USDA, there are no refinances, so you're kind of stuck with the rate you get. So again, 
USDA is an option if it's your only option, but down the road you may have to refinance into something else if you're trying to get a lower rate uh, or do those kind of things. But zero down, 2006 is the date on those. Again, in a pilot program, uh, they're pretty restrictive on what they can do. You can only have a double wide. Uh, it can only be moved once. And then um, it can only be your primary residence. So um, again, you can explore USDA financing and I'm not trying to say you shouldn't do it. Explore it definitely if, if the down payment is an issue, but there's a lot of other great options uh, in terms of buying a home with a manufactured home and using a loan to do so. VA gets a bad rap in those things. Uh, what I found is that they are pretty lenient in terms of manufactured homes. Now, one of the things you may run into with a manufactured home is you may run into uh, that it's on well and septic. And both of those things are gonna have to have tests for most loan programs, and those will have to meet local uh, water standards. If you have any questions or you're thinking about uh, using uh, a loan to purchase a manufactured home, please don't hesitate to reach out. I'd love to help. I hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.